Sarah Murray with the Wall Street Journal. I'm here at the WSJ CEO Council with Dr. John Noseworthy, who is the CEO of the Mayo Clinic. Hi, Dr. Noseworthy. Thanks Sarah, for being here. Thank you. All right, let's start with the new healthcare law and the implementation. What's your take on how it's going so far? Well, this is basically a law that extends insurance, and we'll, it's not off to a great start, as you've reported on. But ultimately, the goal is to get more Americans insured. That's the first step. It also sets up these competitive marketplaces for consumers to buy insurance products on. And it's a step, it, but it's, it doesn't really address the key issues in healthcare, which is that we're spending too much money, and healthcare is very fragmented and very uneven in quality. But those are things that we need to move to next. And when you look at the way that the new healthcare law is structured, do you think that this is the kind of thing that will lead to people getting better care? It's really not about that. It's really about people getting coverage. It doesn't guarantee access to care, and it really doesn't reform how care is paid for, or incentivized, or, or how it's delivered. It's really just, it's essentially about insurance coverage. There are some innovations that are being funded by the law, but that's a minor component. This is really to get more people covered. So what would you tweak if you were going back and helping to redesign the healthcare law? What are one or two things you would change? Well, I think it's important now to move forward with payment reform that recognizes the need to drive physicians and nurses and hospitals to get better outcomes, better value, and also to modernize how we deliver care to use technology and knowledge and so on to reduce the cost of care and reach Americans who live in rural parts of the country and so on. So there, there are things that can be done now about payment and about uh, uh, delivery that will be better for Americans. And we've got to invest in research. You know, we're, we're, we've defunded the NIH, and that's a real problem in, in this great country. When you look at the Mayo Clinic, I mean, how big is your enterprise? So we were, we were the first, and we are the largest integrated group practice in medicine. We have uh, 60,000 employees, we're in seven states, and we have a care network across the country, so we're large. So what do you do at your offices to try to keep employees healthier that might be a little bit different than what other offices do? Well, Mayo Clinic is focused on the patient and they're focused on our staff, because our staffs are our patients. And so we want to keep them healthy. So we have uh, incentive systems for folks to join uh, our uh, healthy living center and the more they use that for exercise and relaxation and proper eating and, and control of mind, body, and spirit, uh, the more they use it, the less they pay for it. So it's just one example of trying to create the healthiest workforce in America. All right, great. Dr. John Noseworthy of the Mayo Clinic, thanks for being here. Thank you very much.